Now, in terms of the therapeutic potential, we know that the exosomes derived from mesenchymal stem cells, such as adipose to um, drive stem cells, can uh, you know, increase the hair growth. So the DPC exos, when they were purified by a three-dimensional culture, um, and this was uh, done experimentally, they induced a human hair follicle growth, um, and they facilitated that transition from the telogen to antigen phase in mice. What about clinical evidence? Is there, you know, are there any clinical trials? Well, um, a recent PubMed search found maybe like four different trials that were going on. There's not much out there, but there's a lot of anecdotal evidence. And we know that there are a lot of companies that have um, come with their exosomes to uh, basically uh, let us know that, you know, even though that there's not the, the clinical data, we do have a lot of ane anecdotal evidence to enable us to uh, pursue um, this, uh, you know, hair growth. So there are a number of regulatory hurdles as well as technical difficulties. Um, in the United States, the FDA regulations limit it to cosmetic use, and there's no um, ability to inject, although that is off-label and some people do inject. There are different technical challenges, such as methods of isolation, as well as characterization, the large-scale production, and the limited detection of the exosome content associated with the hair growth. The global regenerative market is, um, is going to reach 531.7 billion by 2033. In order to grow hair, we've got to get this into the down to the hair bulge, and if we don't get it to the you know into the bulge, we're not going to see that much of a response. Mm -hmm. And topically, that becomes really hard. But the FDA has really come down on companies that promote. Um, injecting exosomes. There have been warning letters over the last seven or six, seven years. Um, there have been several companies who have gotten several warning letters about off-label, you know, about promoting this because these are not drugs. Legally, actually, in our country, we are not allowed to inject exosome uh, to human as a treatment. I think this goes uh, similar in US and probably many other countries in the world. Now, as we've seen, animal-derived exosomes have warning signs against them. The current evidence su suggests that there is limited or paucity of clinical data. There are various reported side effects of the same as well. And very importantly, the FDA has regulatory concerns pinned up against animal-derived exosomes. The plant exosomes is an opportunity where it is a more safer and more ethical alternative. It has lower immunogenicity and of course less risk of contamination that has been uh, reported. We have the growth factors or peptides as we saw, which has proteins which stimulate the cell growth. They promote hair follicle activity, enhance the blood supply to the scalp and prolong the hair growth phase. So the three pronged synergistic combination of the plant derived exosomes with the biomimetic polypeptides or the QR678 related composition would be proving where the plant exosomes directly signal to target the cells better. They ensure that the growth factors reach the intended site of the action uh, of action effectively and efficiently. And they also prolong the therapeutic effect of these biomimetic peptides or the growth factor combination. QR678 Neo is a revolutionary patented evidence-based biomimetic peptide-driven anti-hair loss and hair regrowth therapy. It stands at the pedestals of being researched, recognized, as well as revolutionary. It has a dual patent in India as well as the USA, and it has a global presence with regulatory approval in 10 plus countries with a CE certification in the European Union as well. So the evidence in the QR678, which consists of biomimetic polypeptides, which are analogous to growth factors, is immense. It has 13 clinical papers which are published in top international PubMed or Medline index journals. And very important to note is, is that these publications explore all the facets of alopecia. It's a minimally invasive uh, therapy with no side effects and zero downtime whatsoever. It has a proven mechanism of action which acts from the root to the tip. It acts on all aspects of the hair growth cycle and the hair architecture. While exosomes primarily work by promoting cellular communication and activating stem cells, the growth factors directly stimulate hair follicle activity and proliferation. I have had very good uh, result uh, with QR678, no doubt about it. And uh, like, uh, in fact, like my, uh, like the growth factor concentrate, which I was using, that uh, has uh, come down with QR678 because see, it is less painful 
and it's faster and i've been using a lot of biomimetic peptides recently since last two three years of my practice and um actually these biomimetic peptides have really helped me to move from prp and use it more for patients with you know initial grades of alopecia intermediate grades of alopecia of course they are less painful than prp and um, the results that i do see are much faster and better Two years back, I started using QR six seventy eight, especially on all those patients whom I have been doing PRP, and we moved on to QR. And most of my patients were very happy with the results that they got. It was much faster, and they could see much more density. And we 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 had clinical pictures to compare, and that's why I started doing more of QR in my practice. And uh, I had used QR over the last ten years. and uh, as dr kalpana had mentioned i have a bunch of patients who have used it in post chemotherapy and the results were excellent